Hi friends! Today we compare original Jung Heinrich diagnostic interface and its Chinese clone. So, we are going to look at their external differences and to see what is inside. First of all, the external differences are really significant. The original interface surely has the Jung Heinrich logo and a sticker with certifications to European standards. So, what else can I say? External differences cover also the quality of materials. As you can see, the aluminium of the original interface glares, and the Chinese clone is fairly matte. There are no differences on the LEDs, but you can notice that the black plate accommodating them flares on the Chinese adapter. The original one has it matte. USB connectors are same. About the screws, note that the original adapter has them for hex key, while the Chinese clone has them for usual Phillips screwdriver. On the rear side it has a COM port. This plate also flares at the Chinese adapter, and there are no connector screws. The screws are also for Philips screwdriver. Now going to wires. The original interface has a wire with clips. The Chinese one has an ordinary standard industrial grade wire. The Chinese interface even has a Chinese sticker with the manufacture date. Well, I think that's all about external differences. Pay attention to the Chinese interface. The Chinese guys are too lazy and apply just two serial numbers on their adapters. One serial number they use is S03396. The second serial number is S03399. Pay attention to that. And should someone try to sell it as an original device, that is one of the most important differences to look at. Now let's get in. Note that the screws are quite loose in the case. Let's see where they are screwed. One even seems overturned. Just ordinary wood screws. Probably the wood screws were picked of the wrong size, so they do not fit tightly. Now, disassembling the original device. The screws fit very tightly in the casing. The cases seem very similar, but you see the materials are different. Now we have the devices opened up. The first thing we can see, the Chinese device employs cheaper components. These are not original components. Of course, of course they look similar at a glance, but detailed examination shows the difference. Let's take a closer look at the Chinese printed board. Traces of manual installation on the board are immediately seen. Component leads are also deformed. 
one can also notice flux residues. An excessive soldering alloy on the processor pins. The pins are oxidized. In fact, the quality of components and printed board has a direct effect on performance and life of a device. Let's take a closer look at the original device. The original device has all the components arranged symmetrically. There are no oxides. All the components are machine inserted. All the leads are straight. And there are no flux residues. We recommend you to use original hardware, only to avoid diagnostic troubles in future. Visit diagnostic.net for original equipment. That's all. Keep waiting for new reviews. All the best. Bye.